I'm headed to the mountains, look for bees, um, and hopefully also uh, snag myself some uh, trout from a fish farm to start growing our own trout um, at the house here. So I'm going to meet with uh, my um, Japanese mate, um, Shinaka-san. He's an expert in edible plants in the mountain and uh, from mushrooms to everything. He's been teaching me how to survive in the mountains, what to eat, what you can't eat. And um, so I'm off today with him. So that's what we're gonna go today. And also, I'm, I'm always on the lookout for Japanese bees. Um, you know, my bees died, so I'm beeless again. Every winter, my bees just don't make it through the winter. And it's really um, annoying. Um, even though this time they got all the way through March, March, and then a, a cold snap got them because they were too weak and I moved them and anyway, so I'm really sad. Um, so that's what I'm doing today, I'm going off doing bee conservation work, uh, maybe uh, try to set up some um, uh, conservation beehives too. I got to get some of those made and up too uh, this year. made it here. It's so beautiful here. We're ready to go for wasabi. Get some wasabi. And uh, we're going to pick up some fish too and also keep it open for bees but it's actually really chilly still here in the mountains. Got a really cool nature doing its own design. Here's like buttercup. Buttercups are going extinct because um, the leaves are, they cut them down, they die. But here's some wild buttercups in the mountains. This is an old road. And look, nature is reclaiming it and turning it into a little river. But how do I know this is a road? And here's the clue right here to tell you that it was a road. There's a mirror, so when you're driving down this way, you can see the traffic coming up this way. But you wouldn't think it was a road. I mean, the concrete, everything's gone. Uh, Dobutsu. Inushishi? Uh, large. Some big animal here. You gotta wonder where this road went. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it's forgotten. It's kinda cool. Walking maybe a thousand years from now, people will be walking these roads wondering what civilization made them. Us being extinct. Or maybe aliens or Martians visiting us. Kind of cool. Here is some more evidence. Ancient man. <laughs> Not so ancient. This right here is a beautiful wasabi plant. You can tell by the white flowers and the beautiful leaves and the root, the wasabi roots in there. It's a little, it's a little early even though they're growing very vibrant. I think they need a we left all season, personally. lunch here in the middle of a river bank. The sun's come out, it's really beautiful here. Land and mountains, from what I've been told, is relatively cheap and uh, very low tax.
really cute flowers here. These are kind of like a white buttercup with like a purple. And the, I can tell it's a buttercup family because looking at the, uh, the grass is really cute. Really cute flowers on that. So, didn't see any bees. I saw one bumblebee. I saw a mason bee. Um, and that's it. And, um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I saw. It's kind of early in spring in the mountains here. It's kind of chilly still. So now we're gonna go and see if we can get some fish. So this is the first bees, Japanese bees I've seen. Right here. It's a Japanese bee. And they're on this, um, top, um, this, this is rosemary. What a rosemary, ne? rosemary. Here's a Japanese bumblebee. Right there. Little bumblebee. Love rosemary. This is a different kind of bee right here. Thought you just attacked them. This bee's just a little fight of the bees. He just gave that guy some attitude. We did get fish, I forgot to record it in my excitement <laughs> the fish farm. Uh, but I do have some other videos of it for the mountains. Really delightful couple. Now the fish though are in the pond. There is six speckled trout. If we're lucky, we'll see one pop up. But um, what I'm doing today is actually I put in a feeder video of that. That's actually, I just put it up, I've just added bait. That's a black soldier fly feeder. And um, I've got a video on that. You can, I'm sure you've watched it. But what I need to do now is put actually a gazebo. I'm going to build a gazebo around this thing. Which means getting some wood, getting some cement, and uh, getting it up. So that's what I'm going to work on next. So I'm trying to see if the fish will come up. Come on, guys. They were. They were coming up in the shallows and hunting. I also found some uh, frog eggs that I have actually around those bushes there. That grass is from the mountains too, which I just have stuck in the water. Um, so hopefully, we will see some action. Come on. The little one's hiding underneath the uh, little overhang there. They've been liking the shadow shadows. They like to go where the shadows are. They go a line, they kind of like hide themselves in with the shadows. That's their, and they just wait for prey. They seem to be keeping themselves pretty down. And this is why I need a gazebo because there's just not enough shade. The other thing I'm gonna do is actually have um, um, wisteria grow up into the gazebo. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. Thanks for joining me in this adventure into the mountains. And I hope you enjoyed the video. These videos are part of Found Ups. I've created, I'm the creator of Found Ups and it's a sustainable living initiative and launching Found Up Houses and solutions for living sustainably. Now, no corporation is funding what I'm doing. It's funded by people like yourself who enjoy my videos, enjoy my work, and contribute monthly in order to support the work that I do. And uh, when I'm not hunting hornets or making TV shows on Animal Planet um, or TV show, I made a second video coming up called um, What the Hell's a Show? <laughs> I can't think of the show name. But uh, it's an amazing 4K video on Killer Hornets that I've participated in as the project manager here on site in Japan. It's all nature driven, so there's no individuals except at the end that you may see someone moving around, and that's me as White Walker. Game of Thrones. 
on going to be on Smithsonian Network and also National Geographic globally. They bought the rights. So your support helps me do the work in order to develop solutions and to bring awareness of the problems that we're facing on our planet. So I hope you'll support us. I hope you'll visit us here in Japan. And uh, you can always reach out to me via Facebook or our webpage. Thanks. Take care now.